Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man. Now, before I get on to today's news about Tor, I want to talk to you guys real quick about this, um, well, this petition I got going on at change.org. And as what it is, it is basically stemmed from a complaint that I got today at a hotel with the hotel manager basically saying that I was telling other guests who the sex offenders were in the building, even though I wasn't. But it did inspire me to do this, to actually make a petition, petitioning the governor of the state of Florida to actually make a law to where hotels have to notify you of sex offenders being at the hotel and who they are. So that way, whenever they're at the polls and so on, or just in general around your kids, you're able to know who they are so you're able to keep a better eye out on them because unfortunately a lot of times people don't know that these people are in the hotels. So thanks for that inspiration, man. And now, folks, we are going to get on to some other news, to some other business today. And that business is deep web related. And the thing is, it's causing controversy on the deep web. It's causing controversy on on. Reddit and uh, HN and everywhere else I've, I've been seeing a little bit posted about it here and there and it is about this FBI can obtain a warrant if you run tour in dis, you know come December and there will be a link down to the article a link down to the Reddit and everything else so that way you guys can check it out now is what this is actually saying is that Come December, they're going to sign this thing into law that says if you are suspected of doing something illegal, if you are doing things that are suspect, the FBI will actually be able to obtain a warrant. You won't know it, and they'll be able to monitor your use on tour, even if they don't know who you are exactly. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, well, that's good because, you know, all the child molesters, pedophiles, and whatnot will be taken down. Not exactly. Is what this is is anybody who encrypts anything and you think that this would get more media attention as was stated in Reddit but unfortunately it's not and and the reason for that the reason why I think anyways it should get more media attention is because of the simple fact a lot of people who are journalists have used tour to send their stories back encrypted so that way places don't see it um, you know, those those countries that they're in and whenever they're in danger, they're sending messages back and forth to let people know they're okay and they send their stories back and forth. So that way they are actually able to do this and not be killed in the process of giving us the news, be it however diluted it is. Um, I don't know, guys. It, it to me seems like a lot of people on Reddit and a lot of people on the deep web are saying that judges will probably just rubber stamp and blindly just hit that hit that search warrant. And the problem is, is a lot of times search warrants are just given out. And if the police come up to a judge and they're like, hey, I need this search warrant. It's not like an episode of Law and Order whenever a lot of times the judge is like, oh, there's not enough evidence here. A lot of times suspicion alone is evidence nowadays. And especially with like so many laws being passed, like the Patriot Act and so on, it's saying basically that no matter what you do, you're a criminal if they assume you're a criminal. Thus, things like this will get blown out of proportion. And it's unfortunate, but it's true. Okay, um, we got to make a change. We got to get the media on this. We've got to start getting people educated as far as what their rights are and you do have a fourth amendment right even on the internet you do have a fourth amendment right don't let them tell you any other way you have a right to be to be private i don't like anybody in my personal business um unless if i let it out i don't want people knowing my personal business that's my business such as with emails yeah, which they've already started taking. Um, cell phone communications, which they've already started taking. 
type in some some weird words and see if you don't get the NSA or FBI at your door. There's a good chance you just might if you're actually sending a text message back and forth, which has happened to a lot of people. Um, and has put them on lists such as no-fly list and whatnot. Now, if we start teaching people about their right to privacy and start getting the media involved and start getting the majority of people who agree with us about privacy, we can actually make a difference. Unfortunately, until that point in time, we really can't. There's not going to be any kind of anything left for us, our children. Eventually, it's just going to be a spying police state. And I know a lot of people's arguments was, well, the rich run this, the rich run that. Technically, yes, and technically, no. Because history has shown that the majority of people get up and actually speak out, then they tend to win the argument. However short that argument is and however short-lived it is but if you speak on nothing and you say nothing and you do nothing then you're not taking a chance anyways and nothing's going to happen folks so to me personally this is a very big deal um more so whenever i bring you guys the deep web on here i don't want to be getting a freaking warrant every other week and getting raided and having my computers taken because one that's business that's business for me you know even though it's a hobby it's still a business and YouTube has become a business unfortunately and it's just what it is I signed a contract and yeah so now I'm in business but it's something that I don't want to have to deal with personally and I'm sure everybody else who does a deep web doesn't want to have to deal with it personally and we're not going to be able to buy a new computer like every other week whenever the feds are taking it and you know until they give it back if they give it back to you because i don't know if you guys ever had anything taken i've had a computer taken before whenever i first started doing this show i actually had a computer taken from me and i never got it back they actually said they lost it and do you think they have to pay for it hell no they don't have to pay for shit and you know what? Right now, it's probably at some cop kid's house, and the kid's on it if he hadn't already destroyed it, but or if he hadn't crashed. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is, and that's the way it goes. And I personally don't want to be out of a bunch of money spending and spending and spending just to bring a show on YouTube, because my show is a little popular, but it's not that popular, even though it's gaining popularity again. It's still not that popular that I could really afford to do that. So, yeah, um, and you should be worried. You really should be because this is just another right from you that's being taken away. One more thing that's being taken away, your voice that's being taken away. And I do understand that they're like, oh, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. You know, and, and personally, I do have a problem with it. It's much like if I'm telling my friend a secret and I'm like, hey, this is between me and you. Okay, cool. I don't want it to be between me, him, the NSA, the person down the road, my neighbor, the, the hotel person, the freaking um, mailman and everybody else. I really don't. I want it to be between me and that person, which is why private communication is necessary. Also, after Mr. Snowden showed what he did, that the NSA is actually keeping your sexting pictures, your sexting videos everything about you that's sexual to keep against you for evidence later i'm still not sure 100 percent on the truth to that but i don't know why the dude would have a reason to lie and put his freedom at stake telling people this so with that being said sorry my stents are bad today but telling people that it does give me cause for concern and it should give you cause for concern and it should bother us all that this is being done to us so uh you guys can check it out you guys can take a look tell me what you think let me know down in the comments below either way this is your boy take down man just saying thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share all my videos peace out mahalo you guys all have a great day and don't forget to check out the links in the description and uh yeah that's it